We will bring the Board of Selectmen's meeting to order for May 5th for Hale's location. Um, it is 9-12. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America, America and, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, Joe. So, under Hale's location, I have the uh, monthly report, and I have the check for Denise, if you'd like to peruse that. While you're doing that, I just received a bill that I'll let you look at and sign off on if you choose to. This is for the annual dues for the New Hampshire Association of Assessing Officials. It's $20. Okay. So why don't we pass these out? It looks like there's multiple multiple copies of that, Joe. Yeah, one for each of you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have one here. Okay. Mine must be for Joe. Okay. Yes, one for me. Yeah. Do we want to go through that? And it's a, it's a general report of what she's accomplished in this past month. It's awfully long. Yep. Well. Wow. She's fairly busy. It looks like. Would you like me to read this? We have some people from Hales online. They might like to know what she does. Um, that's up to you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair? They can't hear us. Yeah, they can't. Are we muted? No. We're not plugged in. We can't hear them either. Yeah. It's for about the. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Are. Can you hear us now? I can. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, Denise. Maybe this is the yeah. wire. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Denise, we're looking at your activity recap for April. It's quite lengthy, but since we have a, a couple of Hale residents there, we thought we might read this so they know exactly what you do on a day to day or weekly basis. Okay. <laughs> I don't have it in front of me, so. No, we do. I'll, I'll attempt to read it. Okay. Um, she picks up mail Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. She worked on Friday 1 to 4. Uh, sometimes she stays longer. Uh, I was in the middle of doing something and also worked from home answering questions. So April 2nd, she has sent out two emails requesting tax cards and or tax bills. Picked up mail. Scan and sent out assessment certificate to Steve Hamilton. Copied and filed PA-28 assessing inventory forms. Did my monthly report. Made out one check. Sent letter to property owner denying their request for elderly exemptions for selectmen. Made out and mailed tax and land appeal. Yearly report. Sent one to selectmen and assessor. Typed up my notes. Spoke with Terry Mendick about the bond issue. Filled in questionnaire for mortgage company. April 3rd, Zoom meeting with selectmen commissioners. Answered two emails requesting tax cards and or tax bills. April 5th, picked up the mail, made two deposits. Sent out four emails requesting tax cards and or tax bills. Open and copied for assessor PA 28. April 9th, picked up mail, checked audit and spoke with Bonnie Batchelor. Accountant on a few questions, made out one check, check registry of deeds for any warranty deeds, did monthly bank statement, and profit and loss for March. April 7th, did webinar with DRA. April 13th, picked up mail, sent out two emails requesting tax cards and or tax bills. April 14th, did webinar with DRA. April 15th, picked up mail. 
entered and sent out three emails requesting tax cards and or tax bills. Opened and copied for assessor, PA 28, April 16, picked up mail. Answered and sent out two emails requesting tax cards and or tax bills. Opened and copied for assessor, PA 28, filed, sent out checks. April 20, picked up mail. Answered three emails about tax cards and, and or tax bills. Opened and copied for assessor, PA 28. April 22nd, picked up mail, answered one email requesting tax card or tax bill, opened and copied for assessor, PA 28. April 23rd, picked up mail, checked registry of deeds for any new warranty deeds, copied and filed more PA 28 inventory forms for assessor, answered four emails requesting tax cards and or tax bills. Steve Hamilton, assessor, was here for two hours putting in the PA 28 inventory information, spoke with three homeowners, email 2020 equalization valuation report to the treasurer and selectman for their information, printed out MS 535 for selectman signature and approval, April 26, picked up mail, answered four emails about tax cards and or tax bills, April 29th, picked up mail, answered three emails, about tax cards and tax bills. April 30th, picked up mail, answered five emails regarding tax cards and or tax bills, copied and filed more PA 28 inventory forms for assessor, found out that any improvements to property have to go before the Hales Association first for approval before we issue the application for building permit, did my monthly report, made out one check, Check registry of deeds for any two new warranty deeds. I don't know about you, Denise, but I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Joe? Madam Chair, thank you. Um, I'd just like the uh, Selectman Board to understand that um, Denise does an extremely good job and she's very busy. You know, it's great that she does this detail so that we can see what's going on. Um, and I just want the Board of Selectmen to know um, that we are very fortunate to have her. I agree. So, um, Madam Chair, yes. can I make a motion to, that we approve this check yes, to Denise? It's a check in the amount of $1,050. I'd like to, to make a motion to approve this for all that work that she did in April. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 And that. should we authorize her? Who, who has to sign this? Joe. Treasurer? Yeah. Should we authorize him to do yeah. that? Okay. Do I need to make another motion? Yes. I'd like Is there to any move. other checks? Just that one? Just that one. Just the one. So I'd like to make a motion that we authorize Joe to sign this check. And should we second that? Yep. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Denise is raising her hand. Denise, do you have a question? Or we yeah, Terry, make sure you sign the invoice yeah. for the uh, auditor from now on. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. this, yeah. this, this isn't the invoice. That's no. the invoice. We have to sign all the invoices now. Can we all sign one copy? Yeah. Just. Yes, Joe? Thank you, Madam Chair. I just have a quick question if I can ask Denise. You certainly may. Denise, um, on April 2nd, you spoke with uh, Terry Maddick about the bond issue. Can you elaborate on that a little bit, please? I, I called because uh, Terry McCarthy asked me to find out if uh, Hills Association uh, covered anybody under bond that maybe I could be uh, covered under them, but um, they don't. Okay. So. Okay. I misunderstood. I was thinking it was the bond that we were, Terry and I spoke about this earlier. Uh, I thought it had to do with the bond that we're working on for the nursing home and so forth. This was just the bond to get the... No. Uh, get you uh, bonded, basically. And if yeah. I, yeah, while we're speaking about that, Denise, we have an appointment with Chalmers tomorrow at 3. Okay, um, I'll be there. It'll, ha no, it'll come to my house because we have to do it by phone. They're not letting people in, so she's going to walk it, walk us through it on the phone. Okay, I'll be at your house at 3 tomorrow. Okay. Tea and crumpets, did he say? Yeah. <laughs> Tea time. So, yes. If I may, Madam Chair, uh, we, we have an invoice 
from the New Hampshire Association of Assessing Officials in the amount of twenty dollars. I believe that's the annual membership yes. dues. Yes. Uh, we are required as a, a township to, uh, under RSA 31.8, to pay this invoice every year. So I would like to make a motion um, to approve payment of that invoice in the amount of $20. I would second that motion, Madam Chair. All those in favor say aye. 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 Madam Chair, I didn't hear you. Aye. Back to Joe. Thank you. Denise, That's all I have for Hales. Okay. Denise, do you have anything for us? Uh, no, Joe and I have to look at the building permit. Um, I'm not clear as to, I know new homes have to go through us after the architectural committee of Hales location approves any new home building, but I'm not sure about if there's improvements, if they have to have a building permit or not, we're unclear on that. So we've got to look at the application, and I think Joe's going to have to bring it before you to look at further. Okay. Basically, we just want to make sure we're doing this correctly and get the clarifications in appropriate order. I see we have, is it Pearl and Frank? Mm -hmm. We have Pearl and Frank with us. Would you like to make any comments or you have any questions? We have several sets of minutes, minutes. here we have to approve. that we should approve. Okay. Um, you want to start? Do you have them, Joe? I don't. Okay. Um. I'm just trying to sort these out. So we got the right ones. So these are for Hale's location. Uh, minutes of meetings that we've held this year. Here, Joe, you can look at mine. Thank you. And um, I can, I can look at, I can you, look at these guys. You can share. The first would be uh, oh. minutes. Oh. You can have the signature one, Madam Chair. Oh, okay. Oh, good. <laughs> that works. Okay. So uh, we have a set of minutes for January thirteenth, two thousand twenty-one. The meeting of the selectmen. I'd like to make a motion that we approve these minutes. Second is Madam Chair. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 The next is uh, for a meeting that we had on February 3rd. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that we approve these minutes. Second is Madam Chair. All those in favor say aye. 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 Next, uh, a set of minutes for the meeting we had on March 3rd, 2021. I'd like to make a motion to approve these minutes as written. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Next are the uh, minutes for the meeting we had on March 31st, 2021. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that we approve these minutes. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Have we gotten that debit card that we outlined that day? Yes, she has. Okay. Yep. Got the tour yesterday, in fact. We're good. Uh, and finally, uh, there's a set of minutes for a meeting on April 14th, 2021. I'd like to move that we approve those minutes. Madam Chair, I wouldn't second this one only because I wasn't present. I okay. don't see any glaring errors with the minutes, but I wasn't present, so it would be improper. Okay. I then in that case, I will second. And all those in favor, say aye. 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 And we did make the payment on the audit in the Yes. Yep. Okay.
Yes. Thank you, sure. Madam Chair. So while they're signing those, I just wanted to also report that uh, uh, Denise does now have her debit card after a, a few tries to get the, the correct spelling of the name. <laughs> she now has the card in her possession <laughs> at this point. Okay. Good. Denise, do you have anything else for us? Yeah, I just want to remind Melissa to make sure she sends me the signed copies of those minutes because I'll need them next year for the auditor. Of course. Good. Do we have any questions from the public? No? Okay. Thank you for joining us. Um, anything else for you else? I have nothing further. Okay. I would take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Nine twenty-eight. Thank you. I will call the regular Board of Commissioners meeting for May fifth to order. It is nine twenty-eight. And um, would everyone join me in the pledge? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Melissa, do we have any additions to the agenda? Um, yes, we have two things. One, we have a request from the superintendent at the jail for um, approval of an RFP. Okay. And we have a request from the director of maintenance for a repair to the uh, propane valve. We saw that. Okay. All right. Are they coming in at any particular time? No, they, I'm just going to be texting with them and letting them know <laughs> when, the, when to come over. Or come on the Zoom. Okay. They are expecting delivery of the Mountain View um, bus this morning, mm -hmm. probably right now. Yeah. <laughs> so Bob Murray may be a little bit later in the morning. Okay. Oh, thank you. He found my stuff. Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> so let's go to the approval of the minutes. We have April 21st. Madam Chair, April 21st was held over for correction. Um, there was, uh, it, it said that the minutes were not sealed and then it said they were. So okay. I corrected the, the non public section okay. on page one. It, there was, uh, it doesn't, doesn't say that acknowledge passed. the vote. Yeah. It doesn't say it passed. Oh, geez. Sorry. So we're going to hold this over again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Sorry. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You did <laughs> clean it up nicely. It just it doesn't say what the, you said. We took a vote. Yep. It doesn't say what okay. the vote right. was. Third time there. will be a charm, I guess. Like, <laughs> we're getting that. We'll get that. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's go to April 28th. Let me take it. Oh, this is a long one. I haven't been through this yet. I'm not sure. Okay. And we will put this off until yeah, next week. Well, if you haven't done the 28th, you probably haven't done the 29th. The 29th is real short. I could do it as we, as we okay. speak. <laughs> okay. All we did was go into a non-public session and yep. then... Two non-public sessions. Yep. Two, and we, we voted... The minutes of the two sessions were sealed. So I would make a motion to approve these minutes. Okay. And Kim, this is the one that you weren't here for. Is yeah. that I was here. I just didn't make it to the vote. Okay. The, my phone died before the vote was okay. taken. So, but I, this is an accurate representation, okay. so I would second. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Um, do you have one to sign, Melissa, or do you just want to do this oh, one? Right here. Okay. And so we'll hold the 28th over. Yeah. Do we have any media questions? 
Yes. The Honorable Mr. Gumbo. Thank you, Madam Chair. Ed Camo, Brookfield, governmentoversight.com. I have two 91A requests in. EC 027 is with the Sheriff's Department and the Homeland Security Grant. I'm working with him on that. Okay. And uh, I have EC 028, which is in reference to the emails, and I do not have anything in writing or anything in response to that at all. Well, so I just need. Okay. The statute states that you have to answer in writing why you're not going to uh, provide for if you are going to provide. Madam Chair, if you allow me for like a 10-minute non-public today to discuss that, okay, so that we can respond appropriately. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I have some okay. issues. Thank you. Okay. Um, seeing any more media questions? No. Yes. Chair, I would suggest that you, at some point in the near future, look through your 91A response policy um, just to make sure that we, you keep honing that in order to um, respond quickly. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Madam Chair? Yes? I think that's a good idea. I think we should do that. Because the 91A requests Not are good. changing all yeah. the time. Yeah, and, and we, uh, we've been busy doing a lot of things. I think it's time to, to focus okay. on that next. Okay. Do we have any public input? I don't see anything. Seeing none. Okay. Uh, the manifest for, for April 28th was 109608 cents. Okay. And we have our department head report is from our Registry of Deeds. Come on up. And she also has a bid opening for us. Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> I have packets of information for you. So the f first item on my report is that we have submitted in late April the annual report for the Registry of Deeds, so that's been received. Um, second item is the land records management system that uh, we have been working with a, a new vendor on creation of one for the registry. Um, that's going well. I'm working on it every day with the company. It will, um, I, I'd rather not go into details except for in non-public. And if you'd like to go into further detail, I'd be glad to do that. Just let me know. Um, the next item is docket counts, which is uh, one of the items of our budget, 4120.024. We have had extreme increases in docket counts this year. We are, at this point in time, up 58% docket count, which we are billed per docket count for our, our work. Uh, at the same time, we've had extreme increases in revenue. So it's, it's balancing itself out at, at some point. Yet... I need to watch this number very closely. At this point, last year, it was 16% of our line item budget income, I mean expenditures. At this point this year, it's 22%. When we were going through the budget, I asked for an increase in, in docket count <coughs> numbers, and, and that was graciously allowed. And yet, I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Right now, we have in the budget enough to account for about a 48% increase, and it, we're, we're 58 right now. Usually this time of year is the slowest time of year. If it continues on as it is, uh, I may have to come back to you for finding some more funds, but there will be revenue to offset it. So that's docket count. Um, do you, how far, I mean, when do you think we would 
have to do that. If, if I would think it, by August we should know because the strongest, usually the strongest sales time of year is in the fall. And if we're it's still at 58% in August, we know we're going to need more revenue for payment of bills in the fall. And so, yet, uh, follow up? Yeah, I, I just, uh, if I may. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, sorry. <laughs> Okay, Matthew. Uh, sorry. Um, if I you may. <laughs> I, we're having a supplemental budget meeting of the delegation next week. Uh, it might be. Is it too soon to schedule this now, or? They do meet quarterly, and I did did, did hear that they were going to okay. meet it closer to August. So. Okay. Do you think you will have enough? To go through August? Yes. Okay. We will have enough to get through August. Okay. okay. The fall, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, time will tell on that. I, I don't see things slowing down except I don't know where people are finding real estate to buy anymore, but they are. And you'll see at the end of this, I'll give you the revenue numbers for, for year to date, and we are, we're booming. Yeah. Thank you, Mayor. Yes, Mayor. Do you have to do a new one for every refinance as well. A new docket? Yeah. A new a new mortgage. For refinances, yes. So that would account for some of them too. Oh yes. Mortgages are it's their own property that they're buying essentially again. That's right. Yes. And mortgages are extremely high right now because the interest rates are so low. Should should we go into revenue now instead of at the end? What Does it make prefer? sense? Your time. Yeah. Yeah. Like? Well, we're talking money, so we might as well. Yeah. We like to talk money. <laughs> All right, there's three charts. The first chart is the revenue that comes into the county general fund, and it's by month. And you can see last year, the month of April, we earned to the county 70657 And this past year, the month of April, this past month it was 122,850. So for that month, it was up 73%. The prior year, it was down 7% from the prior year. So you can see that the numbers are just extraordinary this year. The second chart is a cumulative, the cumulative to the county. And that is at this point 430,841 for the year. Last year at this point in time it was 266, 286. Wow. So wow. the cumulative for the county is up 61.8%. This is headed off the charts. It is headed off the wow. charts. And at the same time last year when you compare to the prior year, we were at 3%. Mm -hmm. And the last one is the big eye opener to me. And this is the cumulative re revenue the, to the state and to the county that goes through our office. And on the left, you'll see that in April, the cumulative last year was $643,072.61. The cumulative this year is $1,427,722. That's up 122%. And so at this point, the cumulative on the right-hand side is up 77% for the year. So we've been busy. Um, with that in mind, our expenditures are in order. Um, we are not over in any of our budgets. The highest one is the highest, the closest we are up is... Um, dues and licenses, and that's only because we have a payment, a big payment that comes in January, and then we don't have it again until next January, but we're all in line, 25% or less for the quarter, for the year. Um, the bond bank, this piece of paper here, I spoke with Tammy St. Hilaise this morning. Uh, tomorrow we will know the results yes. of the bond offering. 
She is very excited. Her words were, the market is really good this week. Wow, excellent. So 10.30 in the morning, she will know. Then they award the bids to the people who have offered bids. And she said, likely in the early afternoon, she'll give us a call. And I said, make sure you let everybody know, um, meaning everybody here and Catherine. I don't know if there's any more, but yeah. all these names were mentioned. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I did speak with Tammy uh, last week, and she assured me that as soon as that rate came out, she'd forward it to me. It's exciting. She yes. was excited. She, yes. She was very excited. Good. Um, this is on the website, on the front page of their website. You have to click the link that says click here. It's 109 pages. I only printed the first, second, and then the last page. The last page is uh, the actual signature that they are buying, that they are taking up the offer. So at this point in time, tomorrow, they will be issuing 30640000 bonds. And about half of those are out? Well, 10 for the nursing home and 5 for us. Yeah. Um, next week, the RFP is due in for the repair and the restoration of the records. So I have had some, some vendors come in and look over the records, and I've had some good feedback. And um, I expect that when they come in, it's going to take me some time to look them over thoroughly and see what, where we go. So that won't be a quick turnaround. Uh, yes. Will he be opening those bids? Yes, yes he will. Okay. Yeah, we open them first, and then okay. we give them to um, Lisa okay. for her recommendation. And today we have the RFP for the binders, which are the, the housings for the deeds. Mm. Um, and it looks like they're right there. So would you like to open those? Yes, we would. So. Are these two separate ones? I believe so. So we have two bids on that? It looks like it. Mm -hmm. Nope, you can open it. You can do it. Oh, wow. Should I open it now? Yeah. Yeah. I think my knife out for this. have one from Cot Systems dated April 14th, 2021. And for 100 binders at $72.90 each. Pretty straightforward. With shipping? Costs are included in price per binder. Please note, inside delivery and lift gate service are not included in delivery costs. Either service needed is $65 each. 
in additional delivery fees. That's okay. That's just getting it from the truck to the building. Okay. We probably have people that can do that. We, we do. Okay. Yesterday we had a cabinet delivered and it was under that same, and the, the truck driver was so kind he brought it in and all the way into the registry. Okay. You want to keep them together? There's only two copies? Yep. Were we expecting three? Oh, usually you can do three or four, but actually we asked for five, so, don't we? It's not a big deal. Will that be a problem? No. Okay. I doubt there's five in there. Okay. okay. Let's open so, the other one. Is um, there a note that we need to read? Or? Yes. Or, and then you can open it and give it back to. Oh, it looks like it was opened by mistake. Saw it was for deeds. And double check the address and something RFP bid. My hips are sealed. No, my <laughs> lips are sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. I can't read this. That's okay. It's from... <laughs> yes, but can you just use your knife to open this? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. We have so much fun here. Madam Chair, what was the name of the first one? Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't see her. Cot. Cot? Cot. K-O-T? C-O-T-T? C-O-T-T C -O -T -T systems. Okay. And they are from... Columbus, Ohio. So just to clarify, it looks like this was opened by our finance director by mistake and resealed. Okay. But nobody saw it. And who's that from? <laughs> I don't this know. one appears to be from Cofile. K-O-F-I-L-E. Yeah. It says to the Carroll County <laughs> Registrar of Deeds. Dear Lisa, the following is our price quote for a hundred white in desk. Fructo binders. Um, it says sheet size eight by twelve by fourteen. I'm sorry, eight and a half by fourteen. Capacity two dash three and a quarter. Post three rectangular and lettering four lines. The bind binders total is seven thousand five hundred dollars, which equates to seventy five dollars each, with a shipping of five hundred dollars for a grand total of eight thousand. There each? are two copies if somebody else would like to look at it. How much each? 75. 75. Yeah. So this is for... If oh, she orders... If she orders... I'm sorry, they're not the same, Madam Chair. They're not. Oh, they were. They're mine aren't either. The <laughs> second one is for the same sheet size, capacity, post, and lettering, but it's a quote for 150 and it goes from down from $75 to $73 each. Shipping is $655 for a grand total of $11,605 if you were to get 150 binders versus the $8,000 grand total if you were to get 100 binders. Is shipping included in that one too? Um, well, it's a separate, the binders are 73 each for 150 and then the shipping is 655. It's a flat shipping rate for a total of 11605 on the one on the hundred and fifty on the hundred it's seventy five dollars a binder flat rate of shipping for five hundred for a grand total of eight thousand dollars madam chair yes you know. so there are two big there are two okay. so it would be a hundred binders at seventy two ninety each or one hundred fifty at seventy two twenty each and it looks like delivery is included in the price per binder and just to compare this is a white plastic with black lettering yes Sheet size eight and a half by fourteen, eight and a half inch binding side, three rectangular posts at five and a half inches, OCC standard post spacing, two and three quarter inch capacity, four lines hot stamp lettering on spine only, and pulls at the bottom. So that's okay. It looks as if uh, this this price might be a little better for, for either quantity. Are we making a decision now? No. Or? Okay. We we give these to Lisa. She goes through and makes okay. sure they're exactly what she wants and makes okay. it, comes back to us next week or whenever with her recommendation okay. Okay. and then we vote. Well. 
if I can make the determination today, may I come back up? Sure. Okay. okay. That was Delisa. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. With all the packaging. Maybe. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you very much. Do you have anything else for us? I think that's all. Okay. Would you like anything more? <laughs> It's not lunchtime yet. <laughs> okay. Then we will go to the treasurer's report. Thank you, Madam Chair. I believe the commissioners have the first quarter numbers. Yeah. And I do want to commend the finance department for getting them out. I know that they've been extremely busy. And in addition to that, I also understand that uh, there's been some illness too. So. Being shorthanded, they've done a great job getting this stuff out. I don't know if you have any questions or concerns. I did peruse them. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. We did, uh, Commissioner Platt and I did talk about the uh, figure for the, um, I regret I don't recall the number, 250000 It's like around 250000 250000 uh, It was part of the uh, funds that we have coming in from covid um, I don't know if they've hit that line item yet, so that's why that showed up as a negative. Uh, the funds coming in, I believe, are somewhere around three hundred and thirty or three hundred and fifty thousand. So that'll be corrected. And the next step, yeah. 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 Other than that, I don't see anything else. Um, unless you have any questions. Have the, have the funds come in? I, I don't know if they have come in yet or not. For some reason, I thought they had. If I might, that's. Yeah. Um, Three hundred twenty-six thousand dollars has come in, and we've spent two hundred fifty, yeah. and it's included in the supplemental budget. That's so right. There's on a the supplemental 12th, budget. Yeah. That was the issue. Yeah. Yes. The the issue is the funds are just not in the right line. That's there. correct. Yeah. Okay. Until funds are funds are here. It's just in the wrong category. Okay. okay. You'll see it on the public notice for the delegation meeting. Okay. Yep. okay, Joe, anything else? That's all I have to report. And I see the um, audit update. Um, we probably won't have one until next week because she's Bonnie's on vacation until the 10th. Yes. yes. Um, so we should and be as, back. Uh, as um, Registry Deeds pointed out, we're in close contact with them about the bond issue. So we should know something uh, tomorrow. Good. Let us know right away. Yeah. Absolutely. As soon as I get that information, we'll pass it on. Yeah. Great news. Madam Chair, point of information. Yes, sir. Is that the, the American Rescue Plan Act funds, or is that another? No. Another yeah, earlier one. It's an earlier one. Thank you. You're welcome. No, we're supposed to be getting that fairly soon, I hope. Just don't know when or what we can use it for yet. Um, okay, so do we have a non public or has that been canceled or postponed? It's been postponed to the 12th. Okay. Madam yep. Chair, may I? Yes. I, uh, this would be the grievance. I, I don't think we should hear that on the 12th because our chair, our chairperson might not be here and we have a delegation meeting the same day. Um, so we'd be short on time. Uh, could we push it to the following week? They they ex they requested the extension. Correct. Okay. Why don't we get back and say it's not going to work on the twelfth? At least that would be my thought. So, and do it the following week. Does that work for you? If it I'm works sure. for you too, that's. I think we should all be here for that. I would agree. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, I will reach out to the representative and ask for that hearing. Okay. Okay, so I guess we're going to go right into other business. We have the UNH Cooperative Extension High Tunnel Greenhouse MOU. Let's see where that is. It should look like this in your packet. Yep. Uh, just to make a comment, I think that YouTube will be fine without me next week to make any decisions that need to be made. I think we would. Anything that needs a tiebreaker, we can forward to the next. 
I, I personally like having your guidance and wisdom to, when we do things. <laughs> but, <laughs> Then we have the mask I know. <laughs> um, I might be. I might come in on Zoom. It all depends on how. I'm well, feeling. I know, but we do have the delegation meeting. I, I know. I think we need to have the time. Yes, needed. I it's agree. It's just not a good. Okay, I'm fine with it. Know, it won't be a good day. Okay. So. Yes. Not that it actually matters, I'm sure, but I will not be here either because I'll be in Dartmouth that day. Okay. Oh, so we really won't have a tie breaking vote. Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, if they want to do it today, we, it, we squabble so often that we need the tie-breaking vote. We do. <laughs> but today would work, I mean, if they want to do it. But if, given they, they're not ready. Okay. Okay. So, you are the liaison for the extension, so would you like to sure, uh, do this? Sure, the extension is, uh, this would be an MOU with the extension. This has to do with the greenhouse, uh, the high tunnel that's already there on our, on the county. I, I guess we've never had an agreement for that, but they want to, uh, uh, uh renovate it, repair it, get it working again. Uh, and uh, they plan to do some work in there this year, growing things. And uh, so uh, they've asked for this MOU with us to sort of paper the, the understanding. So do you um, want me to read it? We could, I just have one question. Um, we probably should have had Will here because this kind of... Mm -hmm. Involves him with the mowing and the yeah. all that stuff. Should we? Could you, see if um, you can get him here? Could you get Melissa? Could you get Will on Zoom or have him? Sure. I mean, I just don't want to so, vote on this without his input too. Yeah, he I has to sign it too. Yes, yeah, he has to sign it also. Yes, yeah, true. I believe it's already there though. They're not yeah, it's there. The location. Right, it's there. So okay. now, can we do this without? We don't have to get delegation approval for no use of the land, do we? No. I could read this into the record Go now. Ahead. Yeah. Help. The background here is UNH Cooperative Extension and Carroll County have collaborated on agricultural research projects at the county farm in Ossipi. In May of 2014, funds were awarded to UNH Cooperative Extension from the New Hampshire Association of Conservation Districts. And the Carroll County Conservation District for the purpose of building a high tunnel greenhouse on county property to conduct research and education programs. Since 2015, UNH Cooperative Extension has maintained the high tunnel and paid for supplies through partnerships and grants awarded to the UNH Extension Agricultural Field Specialist in Carroll County. The purpose of the, purpose of the high tunnel greenhouse is for the county field specialist from UNH Cooperative Extension to conduct vegetable, fruit, or conservation-focused research trials and education programs in conjunction with the aid of the Carroll County Farm staff. The high tunnel is to be used primarily to conduct vegetable research trials to produce food for the county farm as it fits into the research trial schedule and may also be used as a site for agriculture education demonstration and programs. So under this uh, agreement, this MOU, the UNH Co Cooperative Extension will do the following. Conduct research on vegetable trials, agricultural growing techniques and best practices. Offer educational workshops for farmers and growers. Provide growing and maintenance supplies including but not limited to seeds, fertilizer, hand tools, irrigation for inside the high tunnel, plastic cover, row cover. So they're going to recover the tunnel, is my understanding. Offer, and they'll offer any produce harvested from vegetable trials from the county property to the kitchen staff at the nursing home with access given to local area food banks and meal programs. My understanding is that in the past, the nursing home uh, residents 
they've enjoyed uh, some of the vegetables they've grown in the high tunnel. So, the Carroll County Farm will be responsible for general maintenance around the structure, including but not limited to snow removal, mowing and brushing around the greenhouse, and providing water for the greenhouse. Uh, and this, uh, this MOU will stay, keep, stay in place until the high tunnel has outlived its usefulness, the county, and, and then the county will gain full management of the greenhouse to use as it sees fit or remove the structure and its components. So there's no specific termination date. But. Madam Chair, well, it's on his way over. Okay, good. Is there something else? I think there's a few other things on the agenda that are pertaining to him as well, the other two things. Oh, okay, good. So, so might as well just. He might as well just, yeah. yeah. Um, um, Shall we take you. a quick recess then? Um, I need to run down and see if we got the transfers done. Kathy was working on those. Okay. Okay. So, do you need a motion to recess? You, you make a decision. Yes. So take a five minute recess. Ten oh three. Recess. Okay. Recess is over. It is ten eighteen. And Will, you're here. So do you have a copy of the MOU? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Melissa just gave me one. Okay. I didn't want to we didn't want to do anything without talking to you because you're involved. Sure. Go ahead, Matthew. Sure. Uh, it says the county farm, and this would be you, Will, I guess. <laughs> will be responsible for general site maintenance around the structure, including but not limited to snow removal, mowing, and brushing around the greenhouse, and providing water to the greenhouse. I assume this is what you've already been doing. Yes. Okay. Nothing new. And they'll be replacing the plastic cover. Which you said blew off or came off? Or yes, it's something. been in rough shape. I think they've had plans. Olivia's had plans for the last year or two, I believe, to, yeah. to try to get that replaced. And um, so, and we'll help help with that. You know, we, we help build the thing, yeah. and um, we'll probably help put the plastic on um, if we have enough hands to, to do that one day. And yeah. um, so that's all stuff. And we also help. You know, um, we don't spend a lot of time in the greenhouse. She does most of that, but every once in a while, she needs something with the loader to take out or to bring into her or something like that. We help with little things like that, but yeah. majority of it's just a lawn mowing around and snow removal if we get enough snow that warrants it being pushed back. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, we turn the water on and off over there for them also. Madam Chair, yes. I, you know, this is a great service to uh, a lot of folks in our community, too, uh, farm. Uh, Good farm. I mean, there's a lot of interest here in, the, in what goes on there, and uh, there's a lot of interaction with people in the county that are farming in the agricultural community. So, uh, I'd like to make a motion that we approve this MOU. Okay. Seconded. I'd amend the motion, Madam Chair, to authorize the chairwoman to sign on the board's behalf. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Do you have a one for signature or just one of these? Well, do you mind if I sign that one yep. and then I'll yep. get you a signed Oops. copy? I, for I got it on the sign. computer, so I'm okay. Oh, because I think you have to sign it all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The extension? No, not yet. So we'll sign it first. Yeah, we don't usually, but this isn't really. Okay. I guess you have some other things for us, the Water System Source Protection Plan Committee appointments. Is that something that you're doing? Um, no. That's well, something we're I, doing. Don't, okay. I don't know. We, yeah, I just kept it on the agenda so we didn't lose sight of it. Um, what's, what's her? Emily. Emily. Thank yes. you. Emily. She had, um, had um, 
sent me a list last week, towards the end of the week, of suggestions and um, was looking for contacts and information on them. And so I emailed that information back. Uh, the commissioner's office, I'm just going off the top of my head, I don't have it in front of me, but commissioner's office, fire department, police department. I suggested the sheriff's department because they respond to a lot of things around here. Um, can't remember what else was on there. There's a couple things. And um, so she was going to contact people in those organizations. She'll probably be, you probably hear something from her um, as far as the board of commissioners and um, to try to start moving forward and, and get a, a meeting set up um, to move forward on that. So. Um, I wasn't sure how we were going to create that list, but she kind of created one, so I just gave her the contact information and phone numbers, and she said she was going to roll with it, and we didn't have okay. to worry about it until we hear from her. Okay, great. So. Okay. So the water system study and the service agreement, I, I don't think I have it with me, but do you need it? I'm sure I do. Did you hear yours? I, I, Madam Chair, I... If I may, I think we should wait on that until after we know what's happening with this money. Uh, we do have money in the budget for the study. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I'm, I'm talking about the, the general services agreement. I, I think we should wait on that. Um, if we, you know, for the study, I think we should do an RFP. Um, but we don't know what's going to be done with the, the money that's coming in. And um, we'll know more in about a week on that. So. But if we want to, if you're, in, we don't have to. It's a service, mm -hmm. so we don't have to go out for RFP. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, no, I, I know just, there's a, there's a other companies that could do it. So, but I'm saying if that's up yeah. to to Will, if he wants to send out an RFP for the study, do you? We we have one, so I don't see what it would hurt. Um, you know, it never hurts to, to see okay. who else we could send it to. Um, I'm not sure what other, you know, it took me a long time just to get to Underwood to, to do this, but I'm sure there's other companies that do it. I just don't know those companies off my top of my head. We'd have to try to do some research so we could direct solicit the RFP to them. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm in favor if we want to do that. Um, you know, and I, I don't think we were looking, or I wasn't looking necessarily today to, to have any kind of decisions, but I think Melissa's thought was just to keep it fresh in your guys' mind that we don't lose track of moving forward with no. this. No, um, yeah, you know, I've wanted that just right. for quite a while, just to make sure we're, we have enough water. Okay, um, we'll wait to hear on that. And if you want to write up an RFP for us. Yep, it should have been in your packet. Yeah. Yep. Underwood is already Underwood. done the RFP. They help, they help do the RFP. Right, they did, but he wants others. Matthew would like others. So, under, if, I, if I might, Madam Chair, so Underwood wrote the sample RFP as a courtesy. I don't think yes. they charged us for doing mm -hmm. that work. And Correct. And we can use that RFP to send out, or do we need yes. to pay them, pay them any money for that service? No, or? that's a service they just help offer. Um, okay. So we didn't pay for that, so we would take that and send that to whatever other companies we wanted to, to direct solicit towards for that, so that way everybody has the same, you know, same information. Um, I did make some corrections on it, but I don't know if um, that when he resent it or when he printed it off that had the corrections. Basically, my corrections to it from the one that you guys have is a lot of places he put county farm, mm -hmm. and I changed it to county complex. Okay. Um, you know, because I think he was a little, yeah. used a different term, but I thought it was more important to have county complex. complex and yeah. so, um, so that was the main change that I had went through. Okay. And um, I can pull that up and send it to Melissa um, with, those, with those changes. But just a wording difference on, on labeling is all I, I did. But yes, he helped write that, and that's a lot of what they do is help us write these RFPs. And, um, and we're free to use that to, to send it out to whoever we choose to. I think I'm coming back probably on the 19th. Yeah, I think and so maybe we could um, you know, talk a little finalizing. bit more and, and maybe okay. move forward on yeah. something okay. um, on that, you know, give you a couple more weeks to, to look it over and okay. kind of see where we want to go then. How's everything else? Good. While Good. You're here. Yep, we had the uh, PFAS water testing done this morning, and they're doing groundwater testing as we speak out there. Um, so everything's been going 
pretty good. Have you any, had any contact with the Boy Scouts? Have they contacted you? No, other than one time. Well, I take it back two times. They talked about one time doing a pruning demonstration, and I think Melissa forwarded to me that they were going to do a drone thing. Um, but other than that, I haven't heard from them. We did go over, they did do a lot of pruning out there. Um, we went over last week and took probably a whole truckload worth of prunings um, that they had made a pile of. Usually they contact me and ask me to do that, but I saw it over there, so we said, let's get it out. And I'm before the hay gets too tall. And um, so we did, we got all those out of there. But uh, other than that, I haven't really heard much from them, but they are act a lot more active this year out there than I have seen yeah. in a long time. Yeah, I talked give them to, credit. Yeah. I talked to Dale Drew this morning. He called oh, okay. So we're trying to get up a, um, a time for when he and Tim can come. Yeah. And you're involved because I told you they want to put a laser thing out there. All right. So they're going to come and talk to all of us about that. Nice. So good. But yeah, the bushes from what you know, I've driven, drove by a couple times, um, fertilizing. They look good, and like I said, I've seen people in and out of there quite a bit. And they're they're doing a lot more work this year than than they ever have in the past, to, yeah. from what I can see. So I think they're doing a good job. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You all have a good day. Okay. Thanks for coming over. Yep, no problem. Thank you. Bye. Oh, line item transfers. Okay. So you have three. And the first one is from account number 4103009. It's coming out of salaries. Um, this is from... Um, HR department. Um, he's asking for $168.76 to come out of that line and go into line 104103005 for overtime. Um, I guess this is overtime removed from 220. Oh, overtime was removed from the two, 2021 HR budget. HR generalist or occurred OT during the per period between January 1st, 2021 and April 1st, 2021 in the amount of $168.76. And this has been approved by the HR director and also by the finance director. Okay. So this is for the generalist. Yeah, because she was not on, she's not on salary. Well, was not on salary. Um, Sarah, can I ask a question? Sure. Um, and so that we, um, that would mean that she did not incur any overtime in the month of April, so we don't have to revisit this line? No. Okay. Thank you. It's just the generalist that left? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Do you want to, I need a... Yeah. I'd like to make a motion. I don't have the numbers, I guess. Do you want to make the motion, Ken? No. I said I would never sign another one of these without the letter, and I'm standing by that. Oh, I'll let, there I'll, is no letter. I mean, two yeah. to one is... He, he did put it here, and that's... Uh, uh, I mean, I don't know where this came from, because we never used to have it, but I'm assuming that Melissa did this instead of I'm writing a letter they wrote there. Yeah, usually it, in that box it says, um, see attached, in parentheses. Um, I don't know if that's still there or not. No, it's not typed in there. Anymore. No. Is that sufficient to, to understand what happened? Because if that's... I would prefer going back to the old way of doing a letter also myself, but... What? Do we want to start that with this? No, let's just make it that from now on, because... Um, well, I, I'll... I, I believe I understand what happened here. I think it's straightforward. I, I think a letter would be helpful from now on. Yep. But, um, we need to get this in front of the delegation for, though, for, for Wednesday next week. So. Yeah, right. Which is exactly the scenario that happened last time, and we said next time a letter is required. I think you only need two two we votes. Did say though. That. Would you like that to, to happen for next Wednesday morning? Can we have, have it happen letter? now? Is he here today? Yeah, Chris is here. I mean, yeah, you can have some on his letter. Yeah. Why don't we have that happen now? Uh, how about if I take that to him? Take that to him. Yeah. What are the other two, yeah. madam? Oh. Do well, the others have letters? Uh, well, no, but one is from the delegation, and Kathy was just recommending where it should come from. 
Okay, so that can't happen until Wednesday, next Wednesday. Yeah, that can't but if happen. that's their own, then that's their own. They're going to have to do that. Yeah. So we're not even doing that, right? So. Okay. We don't so. approve those two, do we? No, it's from uh, 9370.038. Yeah. I think that's the um, delegation. Yes, it is. Yeah. Can they do that until before we approve it? Um, I'm not sure. I think Lino has to. It should come from them, and then we approve it. It should come from the delegation chair to, to us, and make, then we approve so it, and then it goes back to them. Yep. To approve. I can make that happen between now and next Wednesday morning. Can we meeting next sure, Wednesday? Sure, that would work. Okay. And then this is from us. Um, this is coming out of the CFO salary line, 4105-007, um, um, for $128. Um, our former CFO approved... Um, a staff member who was working from home to get cell phone reimbursement and that came to $128. She is no longer working from home and so is not getting that benefit. Mm -hmm. um, but she was at that point and evidently there was no money in the budget for that. No. Oh. So, um, Should I type that on your letterhead or? <laughs> I can do that in like a minute. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, if that's our own, I, I'm not going to well, it's from us. It's Kathy signed it. So. The purpose of the letter, in my, in my understanding, is so that we can accurately advise right. the delegation of what the thing is for. If yep. it's our own okay. line item, yeah. I'm happy to sign that one. Okay. Okay. I just, if okay. the policy says a letter will be accompanied, mm -hmm. I want to follow the policy. Yep. I agree. I'm not trying to hold things up or be difficult for the sake of being difficult. So who's, who is requesting this? We this are. We are. You? I guess that's the department head? Yeah. Well, okay. We, we as the board. So. Since we don't have a CFO currently. Right. Okay. So I would make a motion that we approve the request 2021 blank. We don't have a number for this yet, do we? So that would be number two. Yeah. If you just want to write 0 2 I'm just going to write two. Yep. two yeah. in there. To move 108. $128 from the CFO salary line, which is 100.4105.007, and put it in, we're moving it to the office supplies line, uh, which is 100.4105.068, and the office supplies line is where we pay the for that cell phone. I guess. So we decided since we don't have a line for cell phones. Okay, I'd make that motion. Third second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Do you want me to sign? Sign. Sign. Do we know, Madam Chair? I know the delegation always asks when the line item went over. It wouldn't apply in this case because it was a non budgeted right. item. Can you foresee any other questions they may ask us next week? They'll probably. This was for um, our accounts payable clerk that was right. working from home. Right. So that's probably. It, There's nothing else to say, nothing about, else to it. say about it. Yet. it Madam Chair, yes. this was approved by our former CFO. C CFO. Okay, not by the commissioners? No. No. Do we have a policy on cell phones to staff? Maybe we should look at that. Yep, because, because I think um, we should find out who has them and if they actually need them. Yeah, I, I don't know why we. It is actually cheaper for us to give them. A cell phone than to pay the forty-three dollars a month because we don't pay that for their and phones. And it's better for the county too because then if there is a ninety-one A request, we can take the phone back. If it's we're just reimbursing someone, and it's their personal phone. That's harder to track and harder to um, for yeah. those reasons. So I think you know, and I listen. I carry three. I'm not a proponent of no, multiple too. devices. I get it. But for the sake of clarity, 91A and governmental records and purposes, I would agree that I think it's better if we... Um, yeah, I don't know if we do have a policy. Yet, and for the sake of um, doing our own policy, Madam Chair, I'll, I'm going to just draft something on our letterhead real quick so that it can go over to the delegation. Okay. Can we do it? Uh, if you want to, yeah, just type it here. Yeah, and um, just put, um, it wasn't, uh, Chairman Avellini always asks um, when the line went over. Um, I would just put, it was an unbudgeted expense. Okay. And 
the HR director is typing that up now and he'll bring it in okay. when he's finished. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's, we'll go into commissioner's comments and reports. Do you have anything, Mr. Black? I don't think I do. Okay, Commissioner Sorry. I don't think so, Madam Chair. Okay. I don't have anything except that I have been in con Dale, Dale Drew, who is, I believe, the chair of the Farm Committee and is in charge of the blueberries, um, did contact me and um, he wants to set up a meeting with Tim himself and the commissioners and, of course, Will. Um, he is looking at putting in, I, I don't really understand it because I'm not technical, but they are putting in a laser type thing to keep the birds out of the, for eating the berries. And it has to go on the pole. Um, the cost is $7,000. Mr. Drew is um, buying that and uh, donating it to the Boy Scouts. So it is of no cost to the county other than the electricity that has to keep it. So we will have to discuss that, but they want to tell us all about it and what's going on with it. What does it do to the birds? I don't know. It must just send out a signal that keeps them out. <laughs> no, I don't think it does. No, I don't think so. I no, think no. They, they don't like areas where they see movement. Movement or noise. They it they might send out. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works. They vaporize it. We will find out. So he's it's supposed like a to get Star back Wars to me. Yeah. I think that would be bad for endangered species. We'd have some concerns. If it's literally doing that. No, it's not. I can't imagine that that's what the Boy Scouts are coming to propose to us, but we should hear them out. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out when they come cool in. Though, right? okay. I like my idea better. May the 4th. Okay. Do we, do we have any media questions? Um, do Seeing we none? Do media questions? No. Uh, Madam Chair? Yep. Yeah. Might you uh, review the RFP that was sent over by the, uh, the superintendent? Yep. Oh, while you're still in your. Okay, yeah, that's right. And Lisa's coming back with hers. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. yeah. And then I've also asked Bob Murray to jump on for that uh, yeah, propane no. valve thing. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting excited. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking at the RFP for the House of Correction installation of the video cameras. Is Sean coming over? Or is he, did, wait, this is just what he's sending us. He just, he just sent it over. I mean, if you do need him for questions, um, and part of the pre-agreement yep. um, to install that equipment. Okay. Madam Chair, yes. I just note that it says it, each person shall submit one original and one copy. Yeah, it's Do you usually, want us to say more than one? Copy? Yeah, it's usually three copies for us, or actually, it's always five, right? It used to be five, and then there was discussion about if that was just over yeah, doing it. A, so, would you like one, one for the file and one for each of you? So four, yes. a total of four. I can yep. change that easy enough. Yep. Is he going to come over and present it? Um, she said he probably could okay. if we wanted him to. I mean, he is scheduled to come over for a non public also. That's true. If you want to hold off for a few minutes. Okay. Let's hold off on that. Yeah, we one. could do that. Okay. okay, so now. And Bob, is he on? Well, he says, please give me five minutes and he'll jump on his own. Okay. Um, because it came up during your regular meeting, I, just, I went ahead and made copies of the uh, 91 in policy for each of you. Okay. Thank you. Do you have that? Thank you also have one in your policy book, but yes, so you have that. And the other thing I wanted to ask is, uh, are the commissioners okay with me sending out the revenue and expense reports to the delegation in their packets today? The first quarter numbers. Commissioner Fletch? I don't have a problem. Thank you, Chris. Let me know there. I don't have a problem. Okay. Do they have their treasurer's blessing? Okay, that's fine. Do we know fine. they're accurate and confident? Okay. 
and oh, we did check on the bank reconciliations. They are they are done. She for the month of March. She is a penny off, and she's working on that. Okay. And she wants them to be perfect before that. So we will have those. We'll have them for next week. Okay. Okay. I might have a penny. <laughs> she didn't say if we were a penny short, short. or a penny over. Oh, right. She said we might be a penny over. A penny difference. Yeah. She'd have a little dish. You know, take a penny, leave okay. a penny. Here we Sorry. Go. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so this is this would be for Chris for the HR director. Request twenty twenty one number three. Can I write that in? Yes, please. And this is from the HR director. And it's is a letter to the commissioners. The request transfers $168.76 from the HR department salaries line 4103.009 to the overtime line 4103.005. Overtime was removed from the 2021 HR budget. The HR generalist accrued overtime during the period between January 1st, 2021 and April 1st, 2021 prior to the change taking effect. Do we know what it was for? Or this is the former HR generalist. So is it COVID related? I'm just wondering, you know, there's like twenty people on the delegation with their own minds and thoughts and opinions, and they might not find that to be sufficient. I'm just trying to head off because Madam Chair will not be with us what questions they may <laughs> ask of us new commissioners so we're not saying the same thing which is I'm new and I have no idea I'm I'm tired of saying that so just for the so sake of we don't know what this overtime is for um, that's kind of the point of the letter I'm inclined to let it go because it's $168.76 and, and you'll be there next week to answer to She's, Chairman I will, answer, I will be happy to answer if someone asks and has okay to it. Uh, and we can find out from Chris yeah maybe okay. I, yeah. I don't know that. So motion? I'd like to make a motion that we approve this request as I had read it previously. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 signed in the wrong place, but that's okay. I signed it where it says signature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I sign in the wrong place? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, but it's on my line. <laughs> scheduled at 11. Oh. The one scheduled at 11 went away, so oh. now put Paula in instead. Can so we, we do her Yep. Now? Yeah, sure. Um, since she's here? Well, sorry, I keep cutting you off. I don't mean to, but Bob Murray should be hopping on the Zoom. Oh, do we want to do that quickly? Do you want to okay. give him a minute to do that? Or? A minute, maybe not here soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're trying to keep things. Oh, here he is. Okay, quick. Oh, well, get in here. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There he is. <laughs> He's got the blue light. Morning. Morning, Morning Bob. Bob. What do you have for us, Bob? Okay. Uh, did you receive the letter from Melissa from uh, Rush Howard at uh, Eastern Propane? Yes. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, as the letter says, apparently there's a repair that's needed on the uh, on the supply lines of the tank. We've got a, a leaking cap, which not you know physically leaking at the moment, but it, uh, the valve doesn't hold, and uh, he wants to replace the valve and the check valve behind it and the associated piping. Uh, he could give us a quote quote, but he'd be held to that quote, and it would be higher than uh, if we did it uh, time and materials. And he said that if we did a time and materials, uh, as you see, he gave us a, a not to exceed price. Uh, so that being said, it's under you know it's under the bid requirements, but it's over the uh, the two thousand um, dollar you know three quote thing that we do. Um, but no one, frankly, no one else can work on this. It has to be Eastern Propane. So. Uh, I wanted to run this by you just to just to get your blessing and make sure that you knew what was going on. Um, but we need to do this repair, and like the letter says, it's it's, it's not going to exceed thirty-eight fifty. And I do have the money in my maintenance budget to cover it. Okay, that was going to be my question. But... Yeah. Yes, That's what I have a maintenance budget for. It's things for just just for things like this. And Bob, all this all these materials would be needed. You know, the piping and everything would need to be replaced to do the valve. Yeah, at the, at the valve. Yes, not 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 the whole line going to the tank. Just the uh, just the the service valve and the check valve that's right behind it. Okay. He wants okay. to re upgrade it to at the same time. Okay. Okay. Madam Chair, point of information. Yes. Bob, this is Ed Camo off camera here. Uh, you had a leak about a year ago. Is that the same valve that leaked the first time? Yeah, it was a couple of years ago, but yeah, I, I believe it is. Does it have any, um, may I follow up? Yes. Does it have any kind of, you know, guarantee on the part? I don't think so. In, in what happened a couple of years ago was a flange had loosened up, so they were, they were able just to tighten it up. They didn't have to re air or replace anything. They just had to snug up the bolts on the flange and that, uh, and that took care of it. Okay. Thank you. Um, so nothing was replaced at the time. Yes, you may. Uh, Bob, if we don't do the check valve that they want to do behind it and they have to come back out, do you think it will end up costing us more in the end? No, absolutely. Uh, the labor is already there. so. Uh, whether they do it once or they do it twice. Uh, so it's just a matter of doing the parts. Uh, they, they're the ones that maintain this uh, propane system. I, I'm not even allowed to touch it. Um, and if that's his recommendation, I fully trust his recommendation. Uh, Eastern Propane and Russ Howard have been very good to us for as long as I've been here, and, and they preceded me on the, on the campus. He says it needs to be done. It needs to be done. We need a motion. I, I don't. Do we? I don't think we need a motion to have it done. No, it's in your budget. Right? He's in his budget. He's just letting us, yeah. making us aware of it. Yeah. Okay. I give my seal of approval for whatever it, it's worth. Thumbs up. Yes. Can I have three thumbs up, please? Yeah. Thumbs up. Okay. Thank you. Always <laughs> All right. Um, and also, I just would like to announce that uh, Mountain View has taken possession of the new bus today. It just arrived uh, oh, yeah. 30 minutes ago. Wow. And are we all happy with it? We're very happy about that. <laughs> we need to go yeah. look at it. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's everything that we expected, uh, everything that we ordered. Um, it's really wonderful. not a whole lot different from the bus that we had, only it's newer and modernized. And it won't break down as much. Um, <laughs> we hope it doesn't break down, down at all. Break down at all. <laughs> yeah. oh. I'm going to be getting it sent out to be lettered over the next couple of days, so um, it'll be back. It'll be back next week, fully lettered, and uh, we'll take a picture and send it up to you. I think we'd like to put that in probably the. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Good thing. Okay. Great. Um, Great. Bob, I wanted to ask you if you would possibly work on an RFP for us for going out to bid for an architect. Um, or what is your thoughts on that? I know that we had one that did all that work for us for, for nothing. 
But since yeah, it's, I we know have it's, to, we, we would have to put it out. Yeah. I, I agree. We would have to put it out for an RFP. Uh, naturally, Tony is, is very familiar. He's got a, you know, he's got an edge yep. over anybody else that would bid. But um, you know, I think a proper RFP should go out. Um, but before we, I, I, before we send out an RFP, we really need to have a vision. We need to know what we want. Okay. What we want this architect to do. Otherwise, you're essentially just putting an architect on retainer, and I don't think that's what we want to do. Well, should we have a meeting then uh, with you and the commissioners and who, whoever else was on our committee the last time that we were doing this? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we should. Okay. All right. We'll get that set up. Okay. All right. That's Thank you, Bob. All. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Okay. It's under A. B. Okay. Then Sean's is under B. If you want to do them both, I can get Sean over. Okay. Sure. So I would make a motion that we move to non-public under RSA 91-A semicolon 3, Roman numeral 2, subsections A, and then later B. Seconded. All those in favor, roll call vote. Commissioner Cesari. Aye. Commissioner McCarthy. Aye. Commissioner Platch. Aye. Thank you. 1053. I'll wait a motion to come out of non-public. So moved. I seconded with an amendment that we seal all the minutes, Madam Chair. For both sessions? For both sessions. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. 1140. Okay. And we will come back into our normal business meeting at 1141. A point of inquiry, Madam Chair. What was the what were the two exemptions? I'm only I'm only remembering one that you B and two. A and B. A and, a and B. Thank you. <laughs> I can't keep them straight. Okay. Bob. At this time, I guess I would like to make an amount an announcement that we have some hirings. We have hired uh, Jim Stoddard as uh, program director in the House of Corrections, and we have hired Deirdre Brown as the new nursing home administrator and we have hired George Zuki as the new CFO in the finance department. Okay. And Sean, you have something to go over with us. Yes ma'am. Um, <clears throat> part of our, our free grant is adding a few more cameras to our existing system that we have over currently at the county jail. So with that said, um, with the free of grant has been signed off for approval, so the funds are available to use. I'm moving forward, and I wrote up an RFP requesting uh, the 18, and excuse me, I want to make sure the number's correct, yeah, 18 new cameras. So we're going to be sending this out, uh, this RFP out for uh, uh, for view, and hopefully we get some bidders to, to bid in um, to uh, supply the facility with 12 new cameras and install and, you know, Get them programmed and all that up and working through the through the grant. Uh, so I'm just looking for approval for that. Uh, the bid would be open until May 20th at 4 p.m. Uh, and all bids would are, are requested to be sent to the to you, county commissioner's office um, for view. I think the only thing that we saw, um, as Commissioner Tessari pointed out, we usually ask for um, a copy. Instead of the two, it's usually the original, mm -hmm. and then three. Okay, so you would like, you want to rechange that to three copies? Yeah, I can change that yep. for you okay. right here. Okay. And on the reverse side, the second to last line, May 20th is a Thursday. It's not Monday, so I'm going to... All right, we'll rechange that date. Okay. Awesome. Oh, that is, that is, I'm sorry, I should have known that, because... Uh, that's my birthday. So we oh. those. <laughs> I guess I should have known that, huh? <laughs> so I have a Sorry. question, if I may, Madam Chair. Yes. It's a, a point of clarification. The last bid we did, um, we had a, a protest, and we went back and looked at our policy on our piece, and it doesn't clearly outline protesting. So do we need to change that, or do we need to put one line in here that says, a, you know, 
protests will only be accepted from bidders or uh, either we need to clean up the policy or we need to put something in this RFP because it's not clear. I thought the RSAs might cover that, but only a bidder can... There wasn't a statute on point that I found. Oh. Well, if you would like to enlighten me, Commissioner Ponch, I would be happy to be enlightened, but I did not see anything Maybe that clarified it. I could, I could redo the research that I looked at. I think we should I change our policy. Okay. I think we should yeah. work on that policy. Yeah. Clarify our policy. Clarify. May, may I offer something? That the length of the, uh, the request for proposal period is at the discretion of the Board of Commissioners? Yeah. Is that the... Was that the protest, the length of time, or...? Yeah. I, th I think that's what I'm saying, is I'm suggesting that our policy should say... Right, our policy should say... You definite. can only be a protester if you've placed a bid. Um, and our policy does not specify that. Okay. You can do that. Get that done. Okay. Take it up um, next week. Okay. Sign it. Sure. For you guys, can. So just to, be, just to be clear, if I could, just well, the only two clarifications we're going to change on here is the one copy to three, and, yep. and of course my error with the with the date, um, with the correcting the date there. Yep. All right. Is that? I note it says Monday the twentieth on the front page too, Melissa. Oh, oh you have to share it off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> Sorry, my typo. Hey. It's okay. Get that going. Or we're going to vote on it next week, he says. Well, no, he, he's going to change this and get it out, right? Yes. I'll change those two areas and okay. I'm just looking for approval to send it out. Okay. Are you looking for a motion? I am. Yeah. I'd like to make a motion. We issue this, we approve this RFP for issuance and authorize the superintendent to put it out for bid. With the two? With, with two, the two changes. With the two that changes. We talked about, yes. Second it. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Here's some Mr. Stoddard's resume desk. Oh, excellent. Thank you. So, as soon as you get us a clean copy, we can sign this. Okay. Yeah. Go back and correct that now. Or if you don't have to do it today, if you come back, you can use our stamps, I would assume. You can use mine. And you normally, Madam Chair, normally I don't think the commissioner signed the Oh. I think I think it's just the stationary okay. that you used to gotcha. So okay. I'm okay to go ahead and put it on the website, Sean, if it's yeah. you can make the changes. If you want to make the changes for me correctly, I appreciate that. Yeah. And uh, if you could just uh, send me a copy and CC Sherry as well. Yeah. Um, I appreciate it. So we have a copy for our records. And we can talk about where you'd like to advertise it as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's I, have, I have nothing for further unless you have something for me. I don't. Thank you. Well, thank you. Enjoy your afternoon. Okay, I see that. Lisa's back. Oh, good. Oh, but Superintendent, before you leave, shine. One moment, Madam Chair, may I? Yep. Um, or if you want to, should we just acknowledge that I'm meeting minutes correction professional to leave your content on the record? Oh. Yeah. Go right ahead. No, you can do it, man. Yeah. To our not mistake, we should have acknowledged that this is, um, what's the exact name? Corrections yeah. Appreciation Week. Week. Uh, and, yep. Yeah, currently uh, in that right now. And the jail has been giving, doing breakfast with all the officers, correct? That is correct. Correct. So, and we want to thank them for everything that they've done, especially during COVID. I think they've done a, a wonderful job over there. So Absolutely. We thank you. And make I, sure you thank them for thank us. You. I definitely yeah. will. Um, I'll definitely speak speak for on your happy to tomorrow as well. We have another thing going on tomorrow morning. So, okay. so but thank you. No, thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Thank you. This is for any more watching. I I doubt they have I'm sure they have better things to do, but Well, I've reviewed the, the binder bids, 
and I was asked to bring up a binder to show you what they are. These house the deeds at the registry. They're very heavy duty. They get handled, you know, the, they, and they, they go in the roller shelving. The pages go in, in between. So the, these are the same as the ones where? They're exactly the same, yes. Okay. So there's a little latch where your thumb is, so you pull that out, and they open up so that we can insert the pages. Where the latches, yeah. Yep, and I can understand why they're expensive. Yes, thank you. So I, I recommend that we purchase the uh, 150 binders from Cot Systems. They are the low bidder. They are the one who produced this last batch that we have had as well. Um, 150 binders would cost $10,830. And we have it in the budget, the line item on the budget, archival um, covers and paper. And uh, it would save us $25 compared to the other bid. I, I need to just take this. I'm sorry. That's okay. Just the doctors. Okay. So does that include the shipping? Yes. Okay. It does include the shipping. Hello. So um, there's a signature line here for me, and then there's another signature line. I don't know if the board would like to sign this or if you just want to um, uh, discuss whether you like the idea. I think it makes sense to take the lower bid. It's the same product. Mm -hmm. Same product, same both supplier. Both qualified and both can supply. So. And the lower bid produced. The last batch, which the registrar was happy with, I'm not hearing any yeah. dissatisfaction, so. No, not at all. So I'd like to make a motion. Do we need a motion on this? Mm -hmm. To make a motion to accept the lower bid. And who's the bidder? I forget the name now. Cot Systems. C-O-T-T. -T. Cot Systems. Bid. For 150 binders. For 150 binders. At a cost of eleven thousand. Ten thousand eight hundred and thirty. Ten thousand eight hundred and thirty. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Do you need a signature from us? I need a signature from me. There is a second signature. I maybe the chair should sign it. Make a motion to authorize Madam Chair to sign on behalf second. of the board. <laughs> it's the second it's the second one down. Second one down? Yeah, the no. first one is for the register. Okay. And then it's. No, I think this is yours. Is it? I think you have to put your name, title, and the date. So my name is typed right under it. That's true. Yeah, I think uh, yes. it's just one signature. Okay. Fine. Just one print? Yeah, you don't yeah. need to sign. I retract my motion, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> I'll register to sign. Well, okay. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. So. Withdraw your second. Yeah, I'd like to move that we authorize the registrar to sign instead. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week. Oh, got the board. More good news. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stuff. I believe that um, our HR director would like a signature. From you, yes. I'll go let him know that you're. Okay. I have Great. it. Oh, I have you've got it. Yeah, okay. I want that. Thank you. Yeah, he gave it to me. Um, this is the offer mm -hmm. for the Mountain View administrator. He fixed it. Paul has stopped and so on. Oh, yep. So. Can you bring this to your attention? You said real property one. Okay. Yeah. 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 by the county commissioners, ratified by a majority vote of the county convention. Does that mean the MOU we just entered for use of county property? 
I did talk t to the chair um, about about it already, and he said that he was more than um, agreeable to doing what they want to do. Uh, anything um, for that, but we can when we talk to them, we can send it over to them also. But yeah. Okay. Non-public. Yep. A non-public. Okay. Do you want to go back into non-public? Yep. Send so a wave motion. Do we know what it is? So um, no, testing. I make a motion that we go into non-public under RSA 91A3 Roman numeral 2 subsection C. Seconded. Roll call vote. Commissioner Tassari. Aye. Commissioner McCarthy. Aye. Commissioner Platt. Aye. 1157. Thank you. Not a non-public? So moved. Actually, you took, we need to seal the minutes. And you want to do that, Kim? I make a motion that we come out of our non-public sessions under RSA 91 A3 to ABC. ABC, and that we seal all non-public minutes from said sessions. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 We are out of non-public and in our regular business meeting, three, and three, three. it is 3.33. Okay. So the thing we have to do is these yeah. are dead. 
This is what you've been waiting for. Do it as the statue to rise. What do you want me to do? I guess he wants us to mail him. Do it. However I ask for it, follow the statue. How did you ask for it? Why don't we mail the letters? I, I don't think it reads it to be electronic, but... Which one is it? Her response doesn't have to be me. No. If he doesn't want to take it in hand, we'll mail it to the address really? on the... Okay. If he doesn't want to take it, we can't force him to. But we'll put no, them in the mail. He wants it in mail. You want it mailed? I want it electronic. It says that you want the information electronic. It doesn't say you want our response electronic. Why don't you take the letter? I'll, I'll take the letter, but I will add that to my next 91A request. Why it says the storage device email? will be provided. It didn't give us a storage device to provide our response to you. So, so we defaulted to paper, um, and we have it. We can mail it to you. We can give it to you. We can send it via email if that's your preference. We're, we're asking. But I don't think saying, look at my request, is sufficient when your request says you will provide a storage device. It looks like there were two requests that were submitted. One was last fall, I believe. Is that EC 027 or 028? EC 029 mm -hmm. is what it says. Uh, we don't, okay, here's this one. It says additional instructions. Please specify the data storage capacity needed. The storage device will be provided. Yeah, that means that, as, that means the county should tell me what data storage capacity is needed so I can give that to you so you can give me my information. Didn't I write that correctly? We're not there yet. But okay. It doesn't say if the response isn't what you're looking for, which is the data, how we're supposed to give you back the response. We'll do it anyway. In fact, why don't we do it all three of them? You can take a hard copy now. If you just want to take a hard copy, put it in the mail and email it to government oversight at protonmail.com. <coughs> That's for this one. Should I stay in here? No. And this is the other one. Two or two. Yeah, there you were two. And this is the one for um, the emails from Melanza that you're not happy with yet. So. No, you got a diaper as well. No. No, I didn't get a diaper as well. Oh, okay. Do we have any other business to bring before the board? I don't have anything else there. I don't believe we do. Okay. I will take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 337. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.